Obesity. Hey, could you ever be fired because you just weigh too much? Well, that brings us to this week's case. Involves a man who worked for the Veterans Administration. He was a boiler plant operator. He weighed 338 pounds. Part of his job requirement was that he had to take an annual physical. Well, he took an annual physical and unfortunately, in the eyes of his employer, he failed it because he wasn't able to demonstrate the stamina necessary to perform some aspects of his job should an emergency arise, and he wasn't able to climb some ladders, which had a weight capacity of only 300 pounds. Well, he was fired. He was fired, and then he sued his employer, the Veterans Administration, under the Rehabilitation Act, saying, hey, you guys are discriminating against me just because I'm a big guy. And that's wrong. It's simple discrimination. Give me a chance here. I can perform 95% of everything I have to do on a daily basis without any kinds of a problem. And this stuff about emergency, well, that might only happen in an emergency, and that doesn't happen and hasn't happened very rarely. So give me a chance here, guys. Went to court. At the trial court level, the judge looked at it and said, well, while you can perform 95% of what you need to do on a daily basis, in an emergency, you don't have the stamina, as demonstrated by your physical exam, and you are barred from climbing some of the ladders you might have to climb in an emergency because they only will carry 300 pounds. So, buddy, you are fired because it's not about discrimination, it's about ability. And in this instance, you're demonstrating an inability to perform central functions of your tasks. Okay, fella said, I don't like this, I don't like this, and he appealed the case. Went up on appeal, and on appeal, well, there, the Circuit Court of Appeals came away with the same decision. They said, while you can allege discrimination, in this instance, the facts are that you can't perform all of the necessary elements of your job, a good 5% can't be performed, and importantly, in the event of an emergency, you're not gonna be able to access certain parts of the equipment because you have to climb on ladders that you can't climb on. So my friend, while you can talk about discrimination, at the end of the day, it's really about ability, ability to perform central portions of those tasks that are required for your job. Since you can't do them, well, your employer can say, you're out of here. So was the end of the case. Point of this case is that there are various rights which exist. Certainly you can bring claims based upon disability, but there are also rights which an employer has. And an employer who can demonstrate objectively that someone due to a physical condition cannot perform the central portions of a job has every right to fire that person. Okay. We bring you this case this week as we bring you cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.